Right, hello, Lakeland School community. This is your pink-haired assistant superintendent, Mr. Novak. And today is Wednesday, April 22nd. It's Earth Day today, so happy Earth Day to everybody. I don't know if that's appropriate, but happy Earth Day. Anyway, um, I've gotten a, a ton of um, you know, DMs and messages on, on Instagram now. And you would have never thought in a million years that I would have gone from being a lifestyle influencer to now officially being a style influencer. My pink hair has become all the rage. I've, I'm getting hit up by all these uh, Instagram people and these celebrities and these personalities and everybody wants to know you know, how I did it. And I said I, I, I bought a product and they told me to dye my hair and I dyed my hair. So, uh, so that's where we are. And I, one of the things that the internet is now clamoring for it's a big move now in social media, a big thing that people do, is uh, you know people who have that quote-unquote squ- swaggy fit. Um, they, they talk about uh, their style and things that they wear. And if anybody knows me you know, pretty well, I'm, I'm a pretty big uh, sneakerhead. I'm a, I'm a big fan of sneakers and shoes. And, um, so I got a request yesterday, you know, M. Novi, um, you know, as a... As a uh, uh, style influencer now, can you go through your massive shoe collection and start showing the people, you know, what, you know, how, how that style on your feet look? So, um, yeah, 100%. So, uh, the first pair that I, I want to cue you guys into um, is a pair of work shoes that I have. Uh, they are the standard brown shoe. They have blue laces. Um, they're blue on the inside. They're blue suede. I, I wore them. They smell terrible. I wore them every single day from uh, September until the actual closure. And I wore them so much because I, I'm, I, I try to be as, as you know, mobile around the buildings as I possibly can, but they actually broke. So I used some Gorilla Glue on the bottom and it didn't work. Um, so again, if you're looking to match my style, wear out your shoes as much as possible, then uh, your old man shoes and then put some Gorilla Glue. Uh, and other pair of shoes that I wear that are exceptionally stylish. These are a pair of blue uh, shoes that I bought from Amazon. Um, I bought them maybe three or four years ago. I used them to cut the grass. They are unbelievable. Uh, you can tell the high quality on here. Um, if you look at really close, the tongue here, because I bought them from some third party vendor that I have no idea where they came from. But uh, if you look, it says Fashion Pre Chanel Sec de Board. So you can tell that these are high quality shoes. Uh, if you can't spell skateboard or professional um, or sport correctly, then, uh, then you know the shoe is high quality. And then last but not least, this is probably my favorite pair. These are actually not mine, they're my wife's. They are, um, they're, they're a loafer with leopard print. And uh, you know, when, uh, basically I wear these to go outside to get the paper, to get the mail, uh, every once in a while to bring the garbage out. So, uh, so yeah, so if you guys want to match my style, you know, those three quote unquote hashtag fits are what you need to, to, what you need to get with. It's all what the cool kids are doing right now. All right. So like I said before, moving on, this is today is Wednesday, April 22nd. It's Earth Day. Number one, I have pink hair. I look ridiculous. My son is totally terrified of me. He's cried every time he's seen me since yesterday. So congratulations. That's on you. Number two, uh, this is kind of important. We sent a survey uh, late last evening, or late for me, around 5, 6, 7 o'clock, uh, to students and parents. Uh, it was a recommendation from the Department of Education to figure out how the stakeholders and community members um, within your district are feeling about virtual learning. So it's broken into two sections. The first one is social-emotional, and then the second one is academic. And we ask that uh, you guys uh, take the survey as seriously as possible. Again, we're all in this together. It's supposed to be a collaborative learning experience. Um, you know, don't use this as an opportunity to kind of, you know, rip anything that, that you're upset about the teacher about this grade or something like that. We're really looking for a holistic view more than anything else. So, you know, uh, just uh, take that, take it seriously. We're really looking for feedback. Number three, quarter three is over. Grades are going to be finalized by uh, Friday, April 24th. So on Friday, April 24th, quarter three grades will become official. Number four, we talked about it a little bit, a lot actually. Um, Governor Murphy has made the announcement that our school closure will take place through at least May 15th. So that's where we currently are. I want to keep this a little bit short today. Um, number five, another decision is going to be made by uh, Governor Murphy on or before Friday, May 15th. Um, number six, our schedule for the next uh, two weeks looks like this. 
Um, Wednesday, April 22nd, is a B day. Thursday, April 23rd, uh, is an A day. Friday, April 24th, it's our first Lancer day. Um, Monday, April 27th, is a B day. Tuesday, April 28th, it's uh, it's an A day. It's also my buddy Hank's birthday. Hank actually gave me the idea for the sneaker review, so big ups to Big Hank. Wednesday, April 29th, that's a B day, and then Thursday, April 30th, that's an A day, and then Friday, May 1st, is a, is a Lancer day. Uh, we talked about number seven. We talked about the new um, the new uh, policy that we're going to have about Lancer days moving forward. Again, if you're an individual who's getting lost in the digital divide, these Lancer days are made for you. You should be consulting with your teachers, your counselors, case managers, uh, administrators, supervisors, um, anybody uh, regarding child study team members r- regarding any issues that you might have. So um, those days are set up for you. They're extra support that we're providing for you. Number eight, we talked about it. The Lancer days, yes, we are taking attendance. How we're taking attendance is, and again, I got another email about this yesterday. You should be checking to see if you have any work. So if you log into your email, or you log into Google Classroom, or you log on to Teacher Pages, any one of those three things for any period of time, you are marked as present for that day. Um, again, please just make sure that you are doing everything you have to do to be successful for quarter four as we move forward. Number nine, uh, I wanna read this. this, is from Mr. Kelly. Again, it's very important for our current junior students. Juniors who have experienced an interest in dual enrollment program as your senior option. On Monday, which was two days ago, you should have received an email from Mr. Kelly. To That went to both students and parents about the next steps to apply to one of the dual enrollment colleges. And then after that, you'll be able to register for the course with Mr. Kelly. If you have any questions about anything, email Mr. Keith Kelly. We want to have this process completed um, by Memorial Day. Uh, number 10, again, we talked about it a little bit yesterday. People are thinking about you. People are beginning to put their brains together for ideas um, about end of the year activities specifically for our seniors. So please know that that is in the back, not not in the back of our minds, it's on the forefront of a lot of our minds right now. I know Dr. Finkelstein and Ms. Mazza and Ms. Harmon um, and uh, Mr. Yost for um, the sports awards and, and um, Mr. Conway for the senior awards. It's on the forefront of everybody's mind and they're collaborating. They actually have a meeting set up uh, sometime a little bit later this week. Uh, number 11, if you didn't see the the if you didn't see the the tribute video that's done by Heidi Jones, you 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 have to. It's remarkable. It's incredible. It's nothing like I've really ever seen before. So Heidi, thank you for putting that together. Thank you for being a first responder, and thank you for the rest of the first responders out there. And this leads me to my hashtag, your community school challenge. Uh, yesterday we talked about uh, the concept of OGG. The first one is optimism, and I challenge you to look at something a little bit more optimistic. This time can be exceptionally empty, where you feel as if um, yeah, I found like a, this, you know, cute little meme, 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 meme. What is it called? Snobby. Sky meme, meme. Well, whatever. They're still here. I found one of those things on social media, um, and it said that there are only three days now in the week. It was yesterday, today, and tomorrow because all the days kind of blend together. And I understand that you can kind of get lost in the emptiness of, of what each day kind of brings and the monotony that each day brings. I mean, trust me, we have a monotonous situation going on here. I, you know, I was asked by um, you know one of our teachers yesterday, what did you do over spring break? And it sounds like hyperbole when I say this. Um, we, we watched Frozen 2 every single night from Thursday right before, um, I guess it was Thursday, April 9th or whatever it was, all the way through... Yeah, we watched it last night. So we, I've, I'm on the Cal Ripken, Cal Ripken streak of watching Frozen 2. So every day can kind of seem the same. And I know you can kind of get lost in that emptiness. When we talked about the concept of OGG, yesterday we talked about optimism and how to be optimistic, at least find something to be optimistic for, you know, in, in this situation. The second part of that is gratitude. And, um, you know, I, I thanked Heidi yesterday and I thank Heidi again today and all the first responders, those people, you know, who are on the front lines of this. These are people who are essential workers, who are out, who are doing everything right now. Um, it's incredible the work that you're doing and you're risking your lives so that, that we might live a sense of normalcy. Um, so gratitude today is, is really what, what I would like to challenge you for. Um, it's a small thing. But showing gratitude for something today in the emptiness. And I want to share something with you. I, I, I've had uh, an unbelievable career at Lakeland Regional High School. I'm not going anywhere, I, I hope. 
but um, I've had an unbelievable career at Lakeland Regional High School, and I have had the opportunity to be there since 2005. So I'm 15 years into a career right now, which um, I, I've never wanted to be anywhere else. I don't want to be anywhere else. I love the community in which I work. I love the students in which we work with, and, and most of all, I love the staff that, that, that we work with. I think you know, I'm fortunate enough to call a lot of these individuals my friends. And uh, I got a, a text message from one of my buddies who happens to also be a, a staff member at Lakeland Regional High School. He said, hey, did you, did you, are you friends with, are, are you connected to this person on Instagram? I don't have any social media myself, so the only social media that I have, the, um, the Lakeland accounts that we own, and I have Lakeland Instagram is separate from the other accounts we have, so I, I, I exclusively run the Lakeland Instagram, so um, he, he, he reached out to me, Mr. Kaiser reached out, Coach Kaiser reached out to me yesterday, and um, he's like, hey, did you see this, this person's story because they put something about you in their story? I was like, I don't, I don't know what a story is. He's like, you got to click on their picture, so... I went to, um, you know, who, who, it was probably, if not my favorite, one of my favorite students of all time. Her name is Christina Deegan. And um, her sister Sarah graduated Lakeland a few years ago, and her brother, older brother, Danny, was uh, an unbelievable student athlete for us, had a storied career at Muhlenberg, and Christina went to Cornell and did some unbelievable things there. She's just a, a remarkable human being. And, um, you know, she reached out to me. Um, through LinkedIn, other social media thing for like, you know, old people. And, uh, you know, she, she just had some really nice things to say about these YouTube addresses and about, um, yeah, the impact that I had on, on her. And she included something yesterday in her story about, you know, the fact that we're in this global pandemic and, you know, her high school history teacher who she had, you know, a pretty good relationship with has, has pink hair and is a social media influencer. And, um, you know, I don't get to say it enough. I, I know that I, I talk about the current staff that we have and the current students that we have. But, man, I've had a career that a lot of people would be very envious of because I've had an opportunity to work with some unbelievable students, Christina being one of them. So uh, to Christina, the class of 2010, um, you know, 10 years, 10 years ago now, um, you know, thank you for everything that you taught me as a teacher, and um, you know, thank you for for you know still allowing me to have this you know influence on on your life. So, to Christina and everybody else out there, thank you very much. That's it, guys. Follow us on social media. My hair can get no more pink. It's actually getting a little bit more pink as time goes on. I was able to wash it off my forehead a little bit, but again, my son cries every time I see him. So, that's on you. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.